Chris is there, kicking in. Basically. Okay. okay, so in addition to just having his eyes looking startled, uh, also his facial features and the color of his cheeks make, make uh, Stephanie think that he's not in a good position. So this idea that um, it really does matter where you are and how you're looking at something, um, and also the idea of just getting a good close look at something before a discussion begins and how to make that happen. Um, and definitely we have some challenges sort of here in the museum and the spaces where we are in the, in the group mm -hmm. size. What happened within the group? What did you observe in yourself and others? We did a better job of taking turns talking this time. Yeah. Just, just now realized that. But Okay. There wasn't as many sidebar conversations and people were very focused in. Okay. Compared to the last time. My name is Amber Curl. I am an accelerated bachelor's of nursing student at the School of Nursing and Health Studies at University of Miami. Okay. Um, how do you think about those sorts of communications? How do you see that? Do you think that could be used in your profession? Absolutely. Um, I think that uh, hearing each other and um, just being open to what someone else has to say and you're all looking at the same painting just like you'll all be looking at the same patient but everyone sees something different was great and incorporating those um, opinions, thoughts, and experiences into your own um, comprehensively I think would be really helpful in the future professionally. Um, other things that I thought were really interesting my first year, uh, keeping an open mind, uh, always trying to understand where somebody was coming from even though my ideas could be very different and could be very well supported I thought it was good practice to like learn how somebody else was thinking about a piece of art. And I found that very applicable to what we were going through the first year in medicine. Um, coming up with a differential, sometimes you can get so narrow-minded, so very focused on one thing, that you uh, kind of leave really important things out of the picture. And I thought these workshops, it, it helped you keep an open mind in everyday practice just always thinking what else could possibly be going on that somebody else might be seeing that I'm ignoring.